Welcome back to the homestead. This is my homestead tip number two. It's about using as much of the heat from your wood stove as you can. I constantly am putting eggshells into this little tin that sits on top of my wood stove and the heat from the stove, just the dry emanating heat, acts to dry the eggshells so that you can then crush them and feed them to your chickens or use them in your garden and hundreds of other uses that I'm sure you can find online. I do have a couple of links in the blog and that will also be down below. I'd like to show you what I do and how I store them. So I collect them in this container until it's, well, it's almost full now. And then I'll crush them and store them in this jar or in a jar or several jars because sometimes, especially during the summer, we get a lot of eggs and I don't always have time to get to them so they can accumulate. But you use them as just feeding them back to your chickens, calcium supplements. They need them to lay their eggs and produce really beautiful shells. So if you either have a homestead or don't, you can practice this. Use this in your gardens. Um, a lot of people actually take the ground eggshell, much finer than I have here in this jar. Um, you should grind it finer if you're going to feed it to your chickens, but mine don't seem to mind it. They peck at it pretty good. But they'll grind the shells down and use them as a calcium supplement, and that's fine. You can either stir it into recipes or put it in capsules, and I find that very interesting. I haven't done it myself. Um, normally we just feed them back to the chickens or, or use this coarse ground eggshell to deter slugs and things like that in the garden. And it works great. Uh, cutworms and, and things like that. Slugs hate them. They don't like the sharp feel. So tip number two is use the heat from your wood stove. Or you can even do it in your oven. Uh, low temperature, 250, for about 25 minutes. We'll also bake the shells enough that they'll be safe for consumption. It's, it's to get rid of the um, salmonella. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, hit like, and we love your comments. So please leave them, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, have a great day, everybody.